the Football Foundation funding absolutely dovetailed with our vision as leaders of schools to transform this area. When we took on Broadock, the vision of this school wasn't to just increase the academic potential of pupils, it was to provide aspiration and motivation. And what we didn't have was a facility that would allow us to do that. Standards were not as they should have been in the school. Young people felt that there weren't the facilities here in Partington to enable them to get involved in sporting opportunities that other venues and other areas in Manchester quite rightly have. And through support with the foundation, we were able to build a 3G pitch, a pavilion, a multi-use games area, including a netball court. And that provision and that facility is something that this area has never seen before. I was here actually on the day when it was launched with Sir Alex. I can remember the enthusiasm and the excitement of, you know, a brand new facility. This site has been used for the likes of Tuition 2, Marcus Rashford and Young Scholars from across Manchester United. It's been used to host coaching from the likes of Phil Neville, who's been here, who's former England women's football team, of course. It's now used by Salford City Club. It's used by several palsy football clubs. It's used by the school team. So we were set up eight years ago to work with children and adults who have cerebral palsy or an acquired brain injury. We've got people from all over, North Wales, Doncaster, Carlisle. They come from all over the North West region, but also further afield. So having the facilities here and having a, a lovely welcome when they get here, it's really important and it makes such a difference. I play for CP United because I love coming down here to play with my friends and it's really great because it's CP specific. So that means that I'm playing with people that have got my disability. So it's really inclusive and it helps me develop as a footballer and as a person. So this facility is, is primarily used, it has been used by the school itself and whilst I was head teacher here we were able to transform the curriculum for young people. It meant we could offer and provide a much greater range and broader range of sporting activity. But not just our school, other schools in the local area, our local primary schools for example could come and use this state of the art facility. So the facilities here I think not only impact the the benefit the players on the pitch but off the pitch as well. Social skills are developing. The impact of physical side is massive in terms of the mobility and the fitness and general health which is great. And yeah the facilities definitely are a part of that because it helps create that environment where they, they feel they belong but also they can access things that are, are impacting their wider life. Well when I do come here I learn key skills like confidence and talking to others and expressing myself. In school, when, when you're asked to do something in front of a class, this helps with that because I've been able to talk about things, I've been able to talk to others and be loud and expressive. What these facilities do is they give chance to the children we work with to belong to something. So a lot of the kids we work with probably don't belong to a football club. They can't afford to belong to a football club. If youngsters know that there's a place at the top of their street that's safe, and they can go to it and they can have some fun at it and it's welcoming, then that's their haven. The numbers are not slowing down, the growth is massive. It's amazing seeing them and talking to them, especially if you've had a hard week, then you talk to them and everything feels better. If I, if I didn't come up, I'd be a completely different person and I, I wouldn't be able to do all the things I do with the club and without the club. It's a key part of my life every Saturday and I, I love it. As well as the facility, it's really important that, you know, the work we do, the facility accommodates the fact that we can make a link with the children. You know, having that weekly, bi-weekly check-in means that we can look after the welfare of the kids that we work with as well. There's no doubt this facility has provided something for this community which is different. It's provided something which supports families. It's provided something which gives employability. We have a number of our students who've gone through the school, they've been coaching young people and they've actually ended up working in sport and some of them actually have become teachers. We have no vandalism, we have pride in the community. Without the Football Foundation funding, this site simply would not have happened. It's now become a hub of activity and provision, which is making healthier young people primarily, but also just broadening the whole spectrum and range of sport that we can offer here. Thank you to the Premier League, the FA, the Government Football Foundation for building this facility, funding it and enabling us to impact so many lives through the provision we can provide.